Yes, everybody, welcome back to a brand new Football Manager experiment. Hope you guys are keeping well and safe. And it looks like Wars are actually going to be signing a striker this window. So we're going to be doing an experiment and seeing how William Jose gets on at Wolverhampton Wanderers. Uh, as always, guys, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go and check out what is happening uh, with William Jose. See what his attributes are talking about and see uh, what he looks like. Um, now, as you can see, 28 years of age at the start of the season. Uh, valued at about 21 million as we've moved him on loan at the moment from Sociedad to Wolves. So really good attributes, really consistent throughout. Obviously six foot one, uh, okay physically, not rapid, but he's got good strength, uh, decent jumping reach as well. Very nice uh, mentals throughout, and decent technicals as well. Good, okay finishing at fourteen, great heading and long shots as well at seventeen. So going to be interesting to see how uh, how he can get on. Uh, really. So we moved him on loan at the moment. Uh, I have put an option to buy, so it'll be interesting to see if Wolves activate that early. If not, I will just transfer him across the walls anyway. Um, and we'll probably do it for about five seasons or so to see how he gets on. Now, due to a couple of people asking, I have put an injury on Raul Jimenez as well. Uh, so we should see William Jose play a lot more games. Of course, we did a couple of experiments previously and players weren't really playing because of Jimenez was still fit. So we have put an injury on Jimenez. So he's out more or less for the season. And we're going to see how uh, William Jose gets on. So let's skip forward to the end of Season 1. So Season 1 is complete. And uh, we're going to see how Jose get, got on in his first season at Wolves. Still at the club. Uh, still classed as on loan. His value has dropped very slightly. His uh, attributes look pretty consistent throughout. And this season he scored 11 goals in the league. 2 goals in the Carabao Cup. Uh, and overall 13 goals for Wolves. No Brazil appearances and not broken into the national team or anything as of yet. Uh, but <clears throat> as you can see, it's 35 appearances in the league, 11 goals and a 6.81 average rating. You can see with his goal output, very consistent, hit, has hit double figures. So the last four seasons uh, before this year for Sociedad and this season is also added to that with 11 goals. Uh, we look at his stats in the league. It was a goal every 233 minutes. So a, roughly a goal every sort of two and a half games, roughly, um, which isn't an, an, an atrocious uh, record. His XG was 7.83. He scored one penalty. He had seven yellow cards as well. Um, predominantly, wow, okay. He played 24. He actually played more um, <clears throat> as an attacking midfielder. So he didn't actually play all of his games as a striker. So it would have been very interesting to see. He had a much better goals to game ratio as a striker. Uh, but I didn't expect that playing a lot as a number 10 as well. Very interesting indeed. Uh, let's see how Wolves got on overall. Uh, finishing 14th in the league. And as you can see, a different manager. They've got Leonardo Jardim as manager um, in terms of signings. But three players in. Idrissi, who's a winger. Uh, Bruno Petkovic, who's a striker, so obviously direct competition, and Pavel Kad Kadarabek, who's a right back. Um, players who left the club, uh, got rid of a few players, but no one too serious. Romain Sace left and Miranda, but other than that, uh, yeah, brought Petkovic in as a, as a player. Uh, but William Jose did finish top goal scorer for Wolves in the league with 42 points. Uh, to be fair, it was quite a tight table. Uh, they finished just 11 points outside of 7th uh, and 7 points ahead of the relegation zone. So they may well have been in a relegation uh, dogfight maybe at some point. Their end of season form looked atrocious. They had a high of 7th place. They were sort of lingering top half for the first half of the season really. So it would have been intriguing to see when Nuno was sacked. Uh, in the FA Cup they got to the 5th round and Carabao Cup they got to the 3rd round where they were eventually knocked out. Uh, Nuno lasted till Feb, which is probably in around maybe here. So it's probably when they had that dip down to 13th. It looks like they may not have gone on a fantastic run. Um, so yeah, Nuno sacked. Palace getting Europa League football. Uh, but not, a, not an atrocious season for William Jose in his first campaign. Uh, we're going to skip forward now another year. See if he can improve on that. See if Wolves can improve overall. And uh, let's see how we can get on. So at the end of the 21-22 season... And William Jose, let's see how he gets on. He's still at Wolves, of course. Um, well, he didn't actually sign his deal at Wolves, so I had to uh, put it uh, put it through. Obviously, Wolves hadn't um, 
Wolves haven't agreed a fee or anything, so I put it uh, through myself. And this time he has bettered his goal scoring record from last season. He scored 12 goals, uh, zero assists, but two man of the match awards this season. Attributes, again, look pretty solid throughout. Nothing's sort of deteriorated quickly or too much. Uh, but he's got uh, he's got another two years left on his contract after this one. Uh, in terms of history, as you can see, 12 goals, two round of matches, a much better average rating at 6.98. Uh, let's see how his goal per game is. About 238. I think that's very, very similar to last season. Can't quite remember the exact figure, but that's very, very similar. And obviously in the FA Cup, he didn't uh, grab a goal, just the one game. Uh, position, every game is a striker this year, which is good. It's probably why he's got the extra goal. Uh, every game is a striker this year, so he sort of made that spot his own as well. So let's see how Wolves got on uh, overall. This season 11th in the Premier League. They've changed managers again. Uh, it's good to see they've improved on, on that uh, finish from last year, though. Uh, Jardim was sacked uh, just at the start of December. Actually didn't last long in his role at all. Had won just the nine games uh, for Wolves. Uh, Les Reed coming in as a uh, caretaker manager, and then Patrick Vieira has taken over on uh, New Year's Day. They went almost a month without a manager, which is cr crazy, to be fair, um, especially with the busy period. But they got Patrick Vieira in, and he's won 30% of his games so far. Competition-wise, then, Wolves finishing 11th, uh, 13 points off the top seven and 11 points off uh, the bottom three. So, again, a sort of mid-table finish. Uh, overall, though, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, William Jose finishing top goal scorer in the league. Of course, I can see another couple of players in there. Uh, FA Cup, they finished in the third round. Uh, they were knocked out by Southampton and the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. I see the Wolves bought in anyway. Uh, so, obviously, Jose made a permanent deal for about £15 million. It's, I mean, I did this last night, and that's roughly what the, the fee had been reported. Uh, Tyson came in on a free from Shakhtar. Very decent sign-in. Uh, let's just see some decent Premier League signings in there, to be fair, for Wolves. Minamino as well on loan. Uh, but nothing t too much of note. Uh, big outs for them. Ruben Neves had left. Uh, Catrone have got, has gone. Pedence has gone as well. So, uh, in terms of system, Vieira is... Playing a lone striker. Um, so how many games is Jimenez? See, Jimenez's games have been a lot more restricted compared to William Jose. Didn't play at all last season. But uh, it looks like William Jose, to be fair, is the number one striker this campaign. Be interesting to see if that would change at all. Uh, or if the managers would go with a, a two-striker formation. Um, let's have a quick look. It looks like... See, there was 4-3-3 three, three in there for... A, well, it's like a 4-1-2... Well, 4-1-2-3, really. So, yeah, just playing with the lone striker, never really changing from that. And this is where uh, Jardim was sacked. You can see he went on a, an atrocious run. Vieira didn't do too much better, though. So I can't see him lasting long if, if that sort of form continues. But at the moment, Wolves doing okay. William Jose, top goal scorer, which is what we like to see. But can we see him push it up another level? Maybe he's just past his peak at the moment. But we're going to move into his third season as a Wolves player and see how he gets on. So here we are, end of the 22-23 season. As you see, the Wolves job is available. So that does not bode well at all. Uh, William and Joe say them. <clears throat> Still at Wolves. Uh, this season scoring seven goals. Game time a little bit more restricted. Got two assists though. Uh, a 6.78 average rating. Again, like I say, his attributes are, are okay. They're still okay at the age of 31. He's obviously playing games. He's, phys he's physically strong. I like that personality as well of a perfectionist. Um, yeah, but seven goals this season. Got two assists, which is good. Uh, but his worst average rating so far in, in season three as a Wolves player. Uh, goals per game, much worse as well. 350 minutes per goal, uh, which isn't fantastic. Um, and then every game, more or less as a striker. He did have a game as a left winger as well. But yeah, more or less every game as a striker at the moment. Um, is there anything interesting in terms of his happiness or anything at the moment? Uh, nothing too much at the moment. Let's see how Wolves got on it anyway. 19th in the Premier League. So Wolves have been relegated from the Premier League. Uh, Raul Jimenez and William Jose both scoring seven goals each. And they were well off it as well. Eight points away from safety. Winning eight games. We have a minus 24 goal difference. Wow. Okay. Okay. Not great. Um, so, Patrick Vieira was sacked really early into the season in October. 
We saw Zhao Matinho as a caretaker manager, which I love to see. Uh, Zhao actually not losing a game, winning one and drawing one. And then Zoran Mamic came in and charged. His attributes are dreadful for a manager, by the way. For a top-level manager, they are not good attributes at all. Um, and Wolves brought him in from Zagreb, and no wonder. Did not win the dressing room round at all. And uh, won seven games and lost 17 and saw Wolves relegated. Um, in terms of tactics, again, he was playing a similar formation to what Vieira was. Obviously not working. Um, I think those signings as well. Those signings are, are, are Milivojevic for uh, 32 for that sort of fee. And uh, what sort of players left the club as well. Uh, a lot of players that have only recently signed being sold off as well. So that just doesn't. I mean, proves it doesn't bode well at all, really. Uh, in terms of Jimenez's games as well, just to see uh, where we're at and who we're competing with, look at the players. Look at the players that they've got and they're going to be going into the championship with. Uh, Jimenez has rightly, you know, requested to leave there. Um, I can't even see where uh, where the big man is. Where is he? Uh, William Jose there. So William Jose hasn't said anything yet, but a lot of these players now are wanting to leave the club or have clubs looking at them after the relegation to the Championship. Well, look, it, it could be fun. A, a season in the Championship, it'll be interesting to see how Wolves get on, but hopefully they'll bounce back immediately. Um, and hopefully we see William Jose stay at the club and score some goals. So here we are then, uh, 31st of May, 2024. We're at the end of Season 4 of the experiment, and Wolves in the Championship. William Jose is still at the club. Things you love to see and still hits double figures again. Just the 10 goals uh, this season for him in the championship. Um, his physicals are starting to drop quite considerably. Um, and three assists in there as well. Very good average rating. Decent, um, a good amount of games in the FA Cup actually. It looks like they may have gone on a little cup run. Um, so yeah, 10 goals, three assists, three man of match rewards uh, and a 7.14 average rating. You'd expect him to get a slightly better uh, record on that, on that front really. A goal every 291 minutes. Again, which isn't atrocious. Um, and in terms of where he's been playing, wow, he had a lot, again, his record as a striker is very, very good, um, and, and not bad at all, but he played a lot as a left winger, a lot as a left winger, which does surprise me, his lack of sort of pace, and a few games as a number 10 as well, very interesting indeed. Uh, in terms of happiness, uh, nothing too much, looks like a Dharma had stayed by the looks of that. Let's check, Wolves finishing second, so they have been uh, promoted straight away, Gerardo, uh... Uh, Shione uh, in charge of the club. Let's just double check. He was manager throughout. He certainly was. Uh, joined in July and he's done very well to get Wolves back up into the Premier League. Uh, sold £102 million worth of players. So Neto left. Otisawi they almost got £30 million for. Jimenez has gone as well. Um, Patricio left the club. So it looks like a big full revamp really. Bolly leaving for under a million pounds. Crazy really. So the signs of good players. Part exchange. Uh, Everton they brought Bernard in. They got they got some all right players in there as well. Uh, championship wise, Fabio Silva finishing top goal scorer. He's got twenty goals overall. So finally, it seems like Fabio Silva has stepped up to the plate. Uh, Ninety two points for Wolves. Very decent. Um, and beating Palace by two points to to get into the automatic spots. And Bristol City, one of the teams that have been uh, promoted as well. So let's have a quick look. There's some crazy teams, by the way, in the Championship now. You got like Blackpool, Bristol Rovers, Coventry, MK Dons, like still still up there. Um, tactic wise, we're seeing this sort of four-two-three-one. William Jose playing on the left-hand side. Fabio, Fabio Silva has taken that role as a striker and obviously done very well, scoring 20 goals this season. Uh, he's got to be up there as probably one of the the top goal scorers in the league, if not the top goal scorer. Not not far behind. But uh, yeah, very, very decent. So that's that's not a bad campaign for William Jose and co. He's only got, uh, he's obviously signed a new contract, which uh, was last year. Uh, he's only got one more year left on it though. So a year for Wolves in the Premier League. Can he have one more big year? Because he'll be 33 at the end of the next season. It's going to be the final season of the experiment, I think. So let's see how he gets on. So then here we are, William Jose. His final year at Wolves. Um, and he's transfer listed. It looks like his time is going to be up at the club. And he's played very little football, unfortunately. Uh, just nine games overall in the Premier League. Three of those were starts and six of them were sub-appearances. He is still classed as a first-teamer. Uh, but it looks like his contract is going to be left to expire. Uh, and a 6.8 average rate. Not horrific. horrific. 
Uh, but yeah, not great. He played. He must have played a lot of under 23s games because he scored eight goals uh, in non-competitive games. Uh, in the games he did play, three of them were as a number 10, where he actually got a decent uh, average rating, and two of those were as a striker. But no goals this season uh, for the big man, unfortunately. His staff attributes are atrocious, uh, but no clubs actually sort of want or want him at the moment. Wolves, is, mate, Wolves, Wolves finished bottom of the Premier League. Wow, 22 points. That is atrocious. Uh, yeah, this season they got Julian Stefan in charge. Let's have a quick look, though. Again, Sione was sacked uh, in November. Wolves is getting rid of managers, and this guy's come in and got Wolves relegated. Uh, Julian Stefan, who is currently Sh uh, Stade Rennes manager. Not great. Not great at all. Uh, the FA Cup, they were knocked out in the fifth round by Chelsea and in the second round of the Carabao Cup by Middlesbrough. What I didn't check actually last season about the FA Cup, because I know Wolves, Wolves didn't do too bad, I, I don't think. Still playing that same sort of formation, by the way. Uh, wait, how far did Wolves get? I got to the FA Cup quarterfinal last season. I knew there was something that I had to check. Um, but yeah, oh, look at these runs. Oh, really, really bad. Uh, Fabio Silva scored, still scored 11 goals. It is a shame, really. Uh, but that is really bad. Really, really bad. Um, transfer history, uh, spending 111 million and obviously none of it working out for Wolves. Spending a lot of money on some Portuguese players. Jao Palinha came in. They got good. They got some good players there. It looks like Wolves are spending it on some serious, like experience though, and it's obviously backfiring. Like Matt Ryan, uh, Daily Blind, who's thirty-five now. They're spending it on a lot of older players. Granite Shaka. Like, it, it, it's mad, really. He's selling sixty-eight million pounds. Samedo finally left. Uh, Morgan Gibbs White went. Johnny. Um, and it's just not worked out. I will skip forward another year just to see where William Jose ends up, but it looks like his future is not at Wolves. And the club at the moment in a dreadful, dreadful position. So William Jose then, he is playing for Atalanta United. Where, since when did all of his attributes, his technical attributes, shoot up? Like his first touch has got better. His free kick taking has got better. His penalty taking, his technique of all has all shot up. Obviously his physicals have dropped slightly. Uh, he joined Atalanta after leaving Wolves on a free transfer that summer. Uh, he's been there sort of half a season uh, in, in MLS did okay for them and uh, it looks like yeah his, his career is slowly but surely uh, winding down now doesn't really say anything about his uh, future uh, whether he'd be retiring or not but you know what he's done okay at Wolves 40 goals in 153 games not amazing but you know as a backup player if Wolves were to sign him at Premier League level it's not too bad not too bad at all um Let's have a quick look at our Wolves finish, though, this season. First in the Championship, so they've smashed it. This Julian Stefan guy has obviously done done a bit of good for Wolves in the end. Um, See, so not a lot of managers. He's kept Fabio Silva. He's only scored 12 goals this season. Um, but, yeah, Wolves, uh, Seiku Koita. Got some good players. Got some good players there. But, yeah, Wolves have bounced back, thankfully. And uh, William Jose was a little bit of a pop of... Not a fantastic uh, spell for Wolves. But guys, hopefully you did enjoy today's video. Be sure to hit, a like button, uh, hit the like button if you did and subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you think of the potential signing of William Jose and how you think he will get on at Molyneux. Until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon.